Hello and welcome to the video. I have had a few requests from people to uh, show how I put together um, the setups for my um, harvest mice. So that's what we're doing today. So this is my 30 by 30 by 45 exoterra terrarium and it houses my two male harvest mice. The harvest mice are very social um, and they can be kept harmoniously in big colonies of um, either gender or mixed gender of course but then of course you'll get babies. Um, so I have two males um, and this size tank is is adequate for two mice, no more, no less. If you want more mice, you'll need a bigger tank. Um, and I clean them out about every three months. Um, again, more than that, like doing it more often than that would be overkill because their their waste, the waste they produce, is absolutely minute. And um, and they, you know, obviously being cleaned out is a bit stressful for them. It does have to be done you know from time to time but um, and unlike um, sort of regular fancy mice the in comparison their odor is very low so that's another reason why it's okay to to only clean them out every um, few months um, of course I clean out their um, water and food bowls every week and obviously they get fresh food and water every day um, so, let's get started. But this stuff here is what forms kind of like the main bulk of the uh, enrichment for their habitat. Um, and that is Rosewood's Harvest Festival and Rosewood's Pick and Fly. Um, you will generally find this one in the small animal section and this one in the bird section. It's it's all you know, same kind of like edible grasses. I just like getting both to have the biggest selection possible. And um, then I also put in a f like at least one, usually one or two millet sprays. And I also have this um, dried pillow moss, also known as frog moss, um, that I put in the bottom. It just looks really nice, and the mice really like it. Uh, yeah, so that's just kind of like what I mainly use and, and I usually I do usually get them some kind of na naturalistic themed toys as well but what I tend to do is sort of gradually add new things sort of once a week just to give them something new to play with um, so as you can see over the weeks here we've kind of like added in like the seed bell and, and these toys and that um, tunnel just like just, just bits and bobs to keep them entertained they love having anything new put in their tank they immediately investigate it they're not scared of anything at all so in addition to that stuff um, I also want to try and put in some thing items to help uh, file their nails down a bit um, their nails never used to be a problem um, but uh, I like sort of like in the last half year or so um, like um, they have a couple of very overgrown nails I, I think it's probably just like an age thing because they've always had like natural branches and wood and stuff to to scrape against but um but yeah and I'm just like um trying to help out a bit more so we've got a terracotta pot we've got some uh, cork bark we've got this kind of like bird ladder with this like kind of like sandy stuff I don't know if I'll put this in or not we'll see um got a little sand bath uh, this thing uh, I think it's like clay yeah <laughs> and also a like a lava rock kind of thing I can't get it open but yeah it's just like a exfoliating rock um, so yeah I probably won't put all this in this week I might save that for another week, but uh, we'll see how we get on. So, we're going to start by taking everything out of here, including the mice. Alright, so that's everything taken out and uh, hoovered. Um, so, the vast majority of stuff that's in here I just throw away, like including the toys, because they tend to just kind of pee on everything and it's really difficult to like clean toys made from like wood and grasses and stuff. It's just less hassle just to 
uh, like dispose of them get new ones i've kept a couple but yeah the vast majority goes in the bin and i've also kept aside a few um a few handfuls of the old bedding old substrate and i will explain why i do that shortly um so yeah so now next thing is to give everything a wipe down and uh, disinfect everything and for that i use um f10 uh this comes as a concentrate and i dilute it in water into a spray bottle um it's a veterinary grade very safe disinfectant um technically it's as marketed for birds but it's all the same stuff really okay so i've had a good wipe around um oh i just also wanted to mention that this um this background is like a a bark background made for reptiles i think this one is by zoomed and also um i use um this nylon thread or it's also called fishing line to attach toys and things to to the uh the mesh roof um don't bother using any kind of like natural string or twine or anything like that because the mice will just like chew straight through it in a matter of minutes so yeah it has to be uh plastic thread so to start with i just put in a uh a sheet of kitchen towel just for extra absorbency um, and it makes things easier to um, makes it easier to clean everything out when the time comes for the next cleaning um, and then so I've got this so what this old bedding is for is that it's got their smell all over it and it will make them less stressed out and feel more at home um, to have a bit of their kind of original smell in there rather than just like completely brand new stuff that doesn't smell familiar. Um, so their last their last setup was done around Christmas time, which is why they've got the Christmas theme care fresh. But we're just gonna just gonna chuck that in. I'm just gonna just kind of arrange that. Right, and now we're gonna put in the new substrate, and this time I am using um, uh, Megazorb, which is um, a British uh, paper bedding, comes in these huge sacks, it's really good value. And the texture uh, is kind of similar to um, the KT small, gra sorry, small granule bedding. Um, it's got that kind of like sort of very natural earthy gravelly appearance, I really like it. Okay, so that's all in there and I've put like, like a 2-3 inches of bedding in there enough for them to burrow around in that kind of compress down a bit. Um, so next to I guess it's kind of like hardscaping as you would call it, as you would call it. Okay so I've added in the uh, the lava rock, the lander, the flower pot, the um, cork bark and the sand bath and um, now I'm going to add in some of the pillow moss. The so that's the moss all added in. As you can see, it adds a really nice kind of uh, natural dynamic to the floor. Um, in the past, I've also used um, like leaf litter and also just standard hay, just to kind of like give it a more kind of natural sort of woodland floor kind of look. Um, but I have moss this time, so I'm using moss. Um, right, so next thing we add in all the grasses right so that's basically it um so i'm definitely not stingy with this stuff i use basically all like five of the packs of grasses that i bought i really like to cram it in there and create a nice dense jungle for them um yeah i mean again sorry i didn't film the actual me putting it in but really there's not really any like you know um specific you know process to it it's just kind of arranging it in a way that looks kind of pleasing and natural to you um and that you think the mice will enjoy which is just kind of just like dense and possible and just kind of optimized for them to like climb up it and you know the entire like pretty much the entire like ceiling is covered so that they can just kind of like utilizing the, the space as much as possible so they can like climb around all areas of the space and uh, believe me, there aren't many places that a uh, harvest mouse can't climb to. Um, so, yeah. Just 
just give you a little little look at that. So yeah, that's pretty much like five packs of uh, of grass that went in there. It's really nicely uh, filled in now. You basically can't see the floor anymore, which is what we want. So now all that's left to do is just put in there food and water. Alright, so food and water is in and uh, Thomas and Jeremy are back in and they are very, very happy to be out of the, the carrier. I think they were they were getting a little bit stressed out, but no harm done. They are happy now, exploring everything, climbing around on everything. Yeah, so the only thing I never like about the, my uh, setups is this drinker. It really, really stands out like a sore thumb. It's bright yellow. Um, I really want to find one of these in black. I'm going to do that as soon as I can, particularly because I've just discovered a crack in this. So, yeah, definitely time for a new drinker. Uh, and, I mean, it works really great for them. Um, because they can't have an open dish and, they, and they're too tiny for the like hamster like tube and ball kind of drinkers so this is perfect but um, yeah it's just the colour it's uh, yeah bothers me a bit but apart from that I'm really happy with it and I think the mice are too um, so uh, obviously this is only one way to do it but I hope that like, if anyone is looking for inspiration for their harvest mice maybe this has provided some um, if there's anything I've forgotten to to go into detail about, just leave a comment and I will be sure to answer you. Uh, so I'm just going to get a bit of footage now and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.